for April of 2020 is our Toulouse collection. Things that are notable here for Toulouse is the veneer is American walnut veneer with motion. So as you start to see little flakes or the way that the light catches a veneer, that's that motion that's in the uh, grain of the veneer, the selection that's been made. And then the solid for the collection is American walnut solids. There's two tones of brass in the collection. So you can see on this little spot table where it's done in an oil rub, solid brass. And then little details like this where the, the base is round, but it's also got a very long bevel to it. And then subtle details on the edges. On the cocktail table here, you can see again where you've got the secondary color of brass for the collection on that round cocktail table. And then shows off the factory's abilities to do the beautiful veneer work and the uh, inlay brass wire. The lighting makes this appear as if it's high sheen. It is not a high sheen group at all. It's right at the 50 sheen level. The etagers, all of the metal that you see on these etagers is all, is all brass. This two piece pull is all lost wax hand cast. Soft close on your drawers. Little details of uh, a little bead detail going around the drawers. The shelves are finished on the underside. So if you were sitting in this great upholstery or if you were coming from a position of above the pieces, you'd see that it's finished completely all around. And then you can see the beautiful upholstery work that's done in here with uh, solid walnut exposed legs and just a really great seat. The nesting tables showing off the veneer and solid walnuts. And then also there's just a little kind of indiscreet ferrule at the bottom of the leg. This is kind of a showstopper piece for us here, this sideboard, radius corners. It's got a slightly concave face. Again, inlay brass wire, touch latches on your end doors with a fixed shelf. And then this is lost wax hand cast solid brass. Then on the face is duck eggshell lacquer that's been applied to the face of that cabinet. Inside you've got an adjustable shelf, drawer with soft clothes, and then all of our doors are featuring an embedded magnet to hold them closed. The mirror, this is the 42 inch version. There is a 52 version, uh, 52 inch version as well available. This is, uh, this mirror frame is completely covered in the duck eggshell lacquer. So you can see all of the changes in surfaces. And then the, the mirror is held with a solid brass frame, beveled mirror, two sizes. Dining table, this table comes with two leaves. You can see where the hourglass shape that you saw on the cocktail table, this one now here is done with the solid walnut, little brass mounts. End of the leg is a solid brass ferrule. There is a fifth, fifth leg on this table that is decorative as well. The notable features of this table is the subtle inlays of the short grain border on your top. And then you can see how it's got a, a shape to it, a contour to it. And that correlates exactly to the shape and contour of the aprons that you can see here on the end of the table. And then as it comes into the leg, the leg is standing proud of the apron. And that follows that same inlay line. This is a great place to see the veneer selection. The chairs, again, performance fabric, solid walnut frame, available in arm and side. Opportunity to show off marquetry work that the factory produces, but done in a contemporary in a, in a subtle format, this clipped cornered cabinet has got all kinds of little interesting details. You've got the top with a little beveled edge underneath, the brass, interesting pulls. Again, the magnets, four doors. As we move across the room, you go past the bunching tables again, and then you see the entertainment cabinet, which is five doors. Each one of those doors faces is uh, covered in the duck eggshell lacquer. And then as I go in close, you can see the grill work is done in the two-tone brass. The doors are veneered, so there's a little miter detail here to the door. And then touch latches. And again, all about these subtle changes in moldings and details as you look at this piece and the legs and all of the, the framing elements. 
Then hanging over the top of this is the 52 inch version of the mirror, but this one is covered in vacuum pressed American walnut veneer. And then across the way, you have the 42 inch version of the same mirror that's over the top of this two door chest. You can see the base is metal, so that's solid brass. It's got a beautiful stretcher that is shaped and comes up underneath the, the bottom of the cabinet. And then this beautiful hardware here, again, lost wax hand cast, and you can see all the details in the design work. Cabinets are, doors are framed in the brass bead, as well as the end panels of this cabinet. Showed you the drinks table a minute ago, and now you have the uh, same silhouette, but a larger scale side table. Then moving into the occasional area, you've got the sectional and lounge chairs. These lounge chairs are flanking a side table here that is featuring a top surface that's the duck eggshell lacquer, framed in solid walnut, and then a brass trim on the inside. And then you can see how the top is cantilevered on this base. And the base is just all about very fine bones, tapered leg, interesting stretchers. That side table correlates to this cocktail table. It's a rectangle. All of those inlays in that top are brass wire. Again, the same elements on the base. And then the suited or the match to that cocktail table, you can get the side table that's also done with the brass inlay wire. The upholstery. It's on a stainless steel base and the base has been brushed to look, make it look like it's mitered on the corners and finished with a champagne type finish. Toulouse bed, we're showing it here in the performance fabric on the headboard. It's also available as an all wood version. And now you get to zoom in on this. As we move closer, you can see where the veneer has been vacuum pressed over this large radius. You've got this big brass elbow and then the space in between all veneer work and then as it comes down, it closes the gap. You look at the, the foot of the headboard is that rubbed bronze finish, solid brass. And then as you step back and you look at the side rail of the bed, you'll notice that it has a little inlay of brass in the groove. And then the same element that's on the, foot, on the headboard is on the footboard. And then you can start to see where you've got a really nice marriage of the solid walnut and the veneer. This bed has a little bit of a concave feature to it. So as you're looking down the, the footboard, it's got this shape to it. Moving over, you have the six drawer dresser, large radius corners. The drawers follow that so that there's just a slight radius corner on the edge of the drawer. And this is probably the best place to see the correlation of the solid walnut and the veneer walnut here, and just how that's done. And then this piece has just got all kinds of little elements of brass that have been added in, shapes and contours to the rails. There's a matching or correlating nightstand here, single drawer and a shelf down below, same radius features. Again, beautiful wood and finish. And then we have the six drawer tall chest with the marquetry almost looks like bow ties. This piece has shape to the front rail again, so it's got just a slight contour. It's got a beveled face or edge right here, comes into a miter, and then as that goes back and transitions to the back, it miters again. The bevel is exposed on the outside against the wall, and then comes all the way down, and then comes back out to the front, and then that's sitting on top of the brass base. And then that, is what you have here on the uh, two door.